What's up, guys, and welcome to my brand new 4K and Steelbook update video. We're getting really excited and comfortable for this one. A lot to talk about. A lot of 4Ks and a lot of Blu-rays to talk about next week. Well, actually, no, those those Blu-rays we're not going to talk about till the till the next update video. But guess what? The next update video is going to be a very Steven Spielberg-centric video. The Fablemans comes to 4K and Blu-ray next week, and I'll have a big update. Coming to you for that, with all Steven Spielberg movies, I finished my Steven Spielberg collection, and I own all but one of his films on physical media now, and we'll go through the new ones, then we'll go through the full collection. I'm very excited about that. So, let's start, let's talk about the films that we're going to talk about, starting with a beautiful 4K steelbook for Black Panther. Wakanda forever. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. I mean, it's it's gorgeous. It is absolutely stunning. I love it. Now, you could have picked this or the Namor Steelbook or Namor, however you want to say it. Uh, I went with this one. I don't know. I just thought it looked a little nicer. Not as, not as complicated, not as messy. So I have to watch it on 4K. So I don't really have full review for the disc, but good film. Not a great film, but a really good film, and I'm excited to revisit it. Next up, another re-released 4K, now on Steelbook from Best Buy. It's Warm Bodies. The movie came out, I believe, in 2013. Really good little film. Really good little film with a great Steelbook. Look at this. The Steelbook has a slip, which comes out. Beautiful artwork. Spine, back. You can put it on your shelf any way you want. Open it up. The discs, and you have his face in the background with the eyes. So, closing it up, I don't know. I think I might put it on the shelf like this, because, I don't know. I, I, I like the artwork. I like this. I like this slip. kind of reminds me of the uh, the Walking Dead, or the, what was it? Not the Walking Dead. The Evil Dead. The Evil Dead 1 and 2 Steelbook Collection. Kind of feels similar. Uh, this was a surprise purchase for me, but uh, boy, I was happy to do it. 4K Blu-ray Steelbook of House of the Dragon Season 1. Uh, haven't watched it yet. Uh, haven't really watched any Game of Thrones. I figured this would be the way to get into it. I do have HBO Max, but I'm a big supporter of physical media, so you can't beat 4K Blu-ray. You just can't beat it. So House of the Dragon, this is a big 4K Blu-ray set of Season 1. So we're going to get to that very soon. Next up, there was a slip to this but it was terrible. The artwork was good, but the slip was like this big fat thing and you put it on there and the, 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 the steel book would f fall right out. It wasn't snug like the Warm Bodies is. So like Lionsgate, I believe this is from Lionsgate, regardless, wherever this is from, if you're going to put steel book, uh, slip covers on your steel books, please make sure that it's a snug fit and they're not going to fly out because I'm just not going to use it. This is a Cloverfield 4K steelbook of a 15th anniversary. I don't think the discs are new. I think it's the same exact discs. Just a new release for the anniversary of the film and a nice little steelbook. So, uh, next we have some standard 4Ks. This re released to 4K Blu ray. It's Crimes of the Future. The Blu ray came out last year and they didn't put a 4K out and they finally did. So, a uh, very random release. It, it looks better than the Blu ray, but I mean, I wouldn't say it looks a lot better, but it's a nice little upgrade. So, why not? Uh, next is Freaky. This also didn't get a 4K release until now, coming from Scream Factory. I know they did the Happy Death Day films, which I do own. Now we have Freaky to add to the collection on uh, on 4K Blu-ray. haven't watched this on 4K yet, but the, the film is actually a fun little movie, so I'm excited to revisit it. Next up is this, a surprise landmark of a sale that I got. I was at a store selling some old Blu-rays. And, uh, you know, one of those pawn shops at the Blu-rays and games and stuff. And uh, going through the, the Blu-ray bin, the 4K bin, and I find heat on 4K Blu-ray for $5. I paid $5 for this. And it was excellent condition. Uh, haven't watched it yet, but God almighty, this is like Black Friday pricing. A steal. A total steal. So, uh, catalog titles. We've got, uh, we've got three, uh, starting with Hereditary. This just uh, kind of knocked my socks off when I saw it 
in a very weird way, the ending I thought was just so strange. It ends the way you'd expect, but the the, the journey to getting there, this is just a, a crazy film with a great performance by Tony Collette, adding Life of Pi uh, to my 4K collection. Uh, I can't wait to watch this on 4K. I mean, watching it on Blu-ray, I thought it was visually stunning 4K. I mean, this is a movie that, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I think, I think we're going to watch it soon. Maybe tonight. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to get lucky enough, um, but we'll see. Now, the final 4K is Batman Forever. Very random, very random. But uh, I owned the four-movie Steelbook set, Batman 89 to Batman and Robin. I sold Forever and Robin, the Steelbooks. So I repurchased Forever, and then eventually I'll repurchase Batman and Robin. And I think I'll then mainly have all the live-action Batman movies. So that's where we're at with that. Two Blu-rays left to talk about. New release films didn't get 4K releases, starting with The Menu. Really nice poster. I really like the cast in this. Ray, Ray Fiennes, Anya Taylor-Joy, Nicholas Holt. But the film itself uh, didn't really do it for me. It does have a rewatchability, though. It does have a likability. Ray Fiennes is great. It's just the way it wraps up. Didn't completely do it for me, so that's where I'm at with that. And uh, Till. The, the biggest snub at this year's Oscars, Daniel Deadweiler, does not get a Best Lead Actress nomination. Um, this is one of the most powerful performances you'll ever see. Um, and she got snubbed. It's the biggest snub. She was fantastic in this movie. The performance is absolutely out of this world. And she got the SAG nomination. And I say give her the damn win because... It was a slap in the face not to get the Oscar nomination. So that's where we're at. That's that's it. That's the that's the update. Not crazy amount of titles, but a decent amount of titles. Now I do plan to put up an update maybe next maybe next Wednesday. I don't know. Um, but like I said, Fablemans is coming to 4K Blu-ray. And I want to showcase my Steven Spielberg collection and all the new films that I that I got. Haven't seen basically any of them. Uh, but I wanted to complete my Spielberg collection on Blu-ray. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten new Spielberg Blu-rays, including Fablemans coming next week. So that's very exciting. Subscribe to the channel for that. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for upcoming episodes of the King's Corner. It's our weekly review show, movie review show, where we talk about all the latest new films coming out of the theaters. This week, we're talking about the 25th anniversary of Titanic and Magic Mike's Last Dance. Maybe some more surprises along the way. Also, spoiler reviews for The Last of Us. Just did a spoiler review for episode four of The Last of Us. Check out those videos up on the channel now. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter at RyanKing72 and Instagram and TikTok at KingOfRises131. And that's been it for me. Thank you so much for watching my latest brand new 4K and Blu-ray update video. And until next time, over and out.